Hello Zebrahurd, welcome back to Animal Crossing New Horizons. Today is August 17th on a Monday to 11 p.m. It's a rainy summer day and we're gonna be doing a couple things in today's episode. We'll be doing our daily stuff and of course we'll also be scanning in an amiibo card to meet a new villager since we haven't done that in a little bit. That'll be fun to do. Uh, but yeah, we just have sort of lots to keep up with. We should have four fossils around. It doesn't look like the fruit has grown back in today so I guess that'll be something uh, for another day. That's fine with me. Yeah, we'll just sort of be getting right to things as soon as I can so that we can spend more time doing more effective stuff, right? That's sort of my main goal with everything. Um, but of course, we'll wanna go over to Timmy and Tommy, see what they have for sale, all that kind of stuff, and just sort of get started with everything. This is one of the first days in a while we don't have mail, mostly because we didn't buy anything from Tom Nook. So yeah, <laughs> I guess good to keep in mind. What are some of our Nook miles though? Um, looks like 200 miles right there. Uh, for hitting the rock. Looks like we have to do some deep sea diving, change our wardrobe. I'll make sure to get to all that soon then. Uh, yeah, I'm mostly just focused on getting to Miles. Maybe I will um, finally go and basically just purchase all of the recipes in the Tom Nook store that I haven't yet. If I could like clear out Tom Nook's store, I thought that'd be a pretty good thing to do. Um, just because it's something I've been meaning to do for a little while now, so if we could get it done, that'd be awesome. Uh, but for right now, we're just gonna go ahead and buy all that. Or not buy, but pick up all that. <laughs> oh, who's here? Looks like we got a uh, kick, so we'll go and talk to kick soon. That would be cool. But look, I dug up a fossil. There's our first one of today. I'm sure we'll be busy with everything else soon enough, but there's that out of the way. And, oh, yeah, also we'll grab shells. We'll talk to Kyle over here. Hey, buddy, how are you? Yo, zebra. Yo, it's time for another semi-professional lesson and reactions from yours truly. This is where, uh, this is for when you just can't even. You know what I mean, Alpha? It's like when you get so much chocolate on Valentine's Day that you can't even eat it all. So give resignation a try and watch us the symphony, symphony roll in. I learned the resignation reaction. It's okay, I guess. <laughs> All right, well, there we go. I don't think that's the reaction I would use when I, I get a lot of a gift. That feels a little rude, but. All right, oh, and we should also take the time to fish today because apparently you get better luck with fishing when it's raining. So I definitely want to uh, take an advantage with this. And also it's just sort of good to you know, fish some more and figure some stuff out with it. There we go. And this will be, ooh, we get ourselves a, uh, a red snapper. Don't get them too often, but not, not often. You know what I mean? Uh, it's just relatively common. Let's go ahead and try to get the cicada. I don't know if any kind of special cicadas show up when we're, uh, when it's a rainy day. A robust cicada, so I guess we already have that one. Good to know. Oh, here's another one. I'll have to sort of go around real quick and give it a go. There we go, because I think we gotta catch five bugs for our uh, Nook Miles, a giant cicada. And what about you? Hi, Celia. Good afternoon, feathers. I wanna chat. Feathers, days like today are just made for playing in the, playing the drums. Do you have drums? Cool, I hope you enjoy playing them. Oh, gotcha. <laughs> Trying to catch those five bugs while I get the chance. Long locust. Over this way, I scared him away. There was a snail that I, I should probably catch because I'm about to hit this rock. Caught a snail, it's not much to brag about. So, yeah, let's get over here and Dig that there. Actually, no, it's like this. <laughs> Don't want to set it up wrong. Oh, this is the money rock as well. Okay, so I'm glad to get this out of the way. There we go. Because of course, our normal goal of getting about 50,000 bells in today's episode is something I'm focusing on. I don't know how it's gonna turn out. Maybe we'll go into some uh, different islands today. That'd be fun. Uh, we'll have to wait and see that. For right now, uh, I don't see too much else going on around here. I'm just sort of checking out for uh, fossil spots and stuff. Oh, I do hear a balloon though. So let's go ahead and figure that out. Where is that going to be? Over here? Aha, over here. Oh, I wonder if this is gonna be bells because that would help out a lot today. Oh, I missed it. Quickly, let's get it before it gets over the river. There we go. And that's gonna be another Nook Miles done. 10,000 bells, thank you very much. All right then, so we've already made a decent little chunk today then. Uh, and 400 miles for that. We gotta catch one more bug, we gotta go deep sea diving. Catch a red snapper, I just did that. Okay, well that's a bit silly. 
Well, let's see if there's an additional bug around. Hi, Gigi, I like your glasses. Why, Zebra, thank you for saying hello, Ribet. Let's chat. Time moves a bit more leisurely here on the island. If I don't watch the clock, the day ends before I know it. I guess so. Hmm. So yeah, let's go ahead and pick up some shells, as we normally do. We're trying to sell, I think, a thousand shells in total. There was a cherry on the floor over here. I guess I missed one. Well, now I got it, and no, not the fence. That's not what I wanted to do. Build the fence again. Ready? Uh, there we go. Perfect. So this is fossil number three, so we're still looking for one more. And we'll be back over this way later on as we see whatever villager we want to see today. Maybe I'll work on the pathways around here, because that's something I've been wanting to sort of etch out a little bit, is more pathway stuff. That way I just sort of know what to deal with, you know? Anyways, oh ho, okay, here we go. We got ourselves our final fossil of the day already. That was pretty quick. And did we catch five bugs, or do I need to get this guy? I need to get this guy, okay. Hopefully that won't be too bad. Ready, oh, there's another one right here. So this one's probably the giant cicada, and I missed him. So let's not miss this one. Gotcha. Oh wait, there's another spot over here. Maybe I miscounted, I caught a brown cicada. I guess I did count, I'm being silly. Whoops, I don't know why I thought I caught four already, but I didn't. Well, the fourth one's right here. That's nice. <laughs> At least I got that figured out. We got the fossil. And 300 extra miles, so we're about to hit 70,000. That's crazy. Catch a drone beetle. I don't know if I've ever caught a drone beetle. What do they look like? Okay, that's just a grasshopper. Not too worried about that. So let's, for right now then, hop over, we'll get these fossils assessed, and then we'll just do some of our normal daily selling and shopping and all that kind of stuff. That shouldn't be too much work. Uh, oh, there was a money tree spot over there. I'll have to get that. Okay. So first things first, would you like to assess these fossils for me, buddy? Assess. These right here. Now I'm guessing that there really isn't anything new, but we have to wait and see. Yep. I don't know, maybe I have to check to see, maybe we have all of the, the fossils. You would think that if we did, he would have mentioned something about it. I don't know, maybe we'll poke our head in today, just like right now. Fossils are right down here. Like, there's no way we have all of them, because I feel like there would have been a bigger deal made of it. But in this room, oh wow, we really do have everything in here, I think. I don't have, I don't see any spots that look obvious, like there's supposed to be fossils there. Like, maybe we got all the fossils, I don't know. <laughs> and did they just not tell me? So I thought that'd be a pretty big deal to tell me, right? We got all that completed, oh my gosh, it looks so good in here. Um, I, okay, we don't have this. What is this then? Um, Dimetrodon. Please donate any missing parts you have, happen to excavate. Thank you for helping our museum grow. And then Jeremiah. Interesting. So yeah, I mean, I don't wanna to spend too much time exploring it for right now, but I would love to do like a full episode exploring and just sort of detailing everything available in the museum or at least for this one, once we complete it, it shows that we're very, very close, which is exciting, uh, but not quite there. Pretty crazy though, how close we've gotten. So we'll have to look for more fossils every day, and hopefully that'll get us a whole lot closer. Uh, but in the meantime, I want to uh, go and sell some of this stuff then, if we don't need it for any reason, might as well sell it. So right over here, going to Nook's Cranny, and we'll also be able to sell, see what he sells today, or what they sell today. Oh, and there's Apple. Hello, hello. All right. Oh, there's the microphone, but we already have that, don't we? Out shopping, Zebra? I like, I love window shopping here. And regular shopping, too. <laughs> Let's talk. Browsing the cute accessories and sparkly knickknacks gets me so hyped. It's like some, someday I'll be on stage singing, dancing, and wearing sparkly stuff like this. It just makes me so imminently famous, so or it makes me feel so imminently famous, so way deep down inside, you know? Yeah, I guess it's a good fit for that, because there's a microphone, there's a uh, camera, a TV camera, and that is going to be 14,000, but it's a little bit too pricey for my preparation. I don't I don't think I need that. Nice little like bedside table, though. Rotten end table. I'll consider it. 
We definitely want to work on the house soon. Um, oh, and a basketball and a teacup. A ball. I'll maybe buy this. I thought this might be good decoration. I mean, it's not quite a soccer ball, but maybe we could figure something else with, out, else out with that. Uh, coffee cup, 270 bells. Maybe I'll get it. Okay, so we got that stuff. Let's talk to them and start selling some stuff as well. Um, I want to sell. So I am offering uh, fossils, shells, fish, the works, the typical stuff. There we go. And hopefully, they appreciate all that. 20,000 bells. So actually, yeah, we started with 5,000 bells, so we're pretty close to our marker already. That's that's pretty good stuff. Um, so we're gonna head out with that, and I think that we will move on with a couple of things. I wanna check out the town center. While we're there, we will spawn in um, our amiibo card friend. So lots of cool stuff going on for sure. Actually, let's talk to Kix as well. Hey, buddy. Welcome, jump. Have a look, no rush, no rush at all. Ooh, so what do you got? You got uh, wrestling shoes, paw slippers, embroidered shoes, kitty socks, uh, and then some backpacks. Nothing too crazy. I think that will go for maybe just a pleather shoulder bag. Seems simple. All right, buy that. And I don't think we have this green backpack yet in any color, so maybe I'll get that one. Because I don't know if he'll like open up a new shop if we buy a bunch of stuff. Extra large backpack, 2,100 bells. We'll grab it. Very much obliged. Here you go. And, uh, do we want to get any of these shoes? I don't think so. None of them looked crazy to me, so we'll leave it be for now. I don't know if you can use the customization tools to customize the clothing colors, or you just have to find them all. I don't know. Um, but for right now, everybody's stretching, working, all that kind of stuff. We got cute red tile flooring. I'll gladly take it. And we'll see what's available in all the Nook Stop shops. So first off, uh, we get 150 bonus miles. And is there anything here? Like, here's something I want to check. Like, yeah, obviously, if I try to buy the wooden fence, it's going to say um, you already have this recipe. Does that work for some of the other stuff? So what is something I know I have? Because I think I have the recipe for what? Actually, I don't know if I have any of these recipes. Like, that's where I'm thinking, like, it might be good to do that. We can also, of course, get um, all of uh, these, because these also cost Nook mods. I feel like it'd be cool to get the full Tom Nook collection at some point. Um, we'll have to wait and see, though. Um, that might be something we do soon. It just, it really depends. I don't want to run out of Nook miles. But we, we have a lot, and we earn more every day. So maybe it's just worth it just to go for it. Uh, so like the manhole cover, I don't know if I have this. Redeem. So let's just redeem that now. It's gonna generate the uh, DIY recipe. And I'm going to quickly check uh, if I try to buy it again, we'll be like, hey, you already have this. It doesn't, which is sort of Weird, you'd think it would sort of meet me halfway with that, seeing how it does that with the fences. I don't remember what I bought, what I don't have, and do have. So maybe it would be good just to get everything now. So we got the stone tablet, or we'll redeem this. Because not no new things show up in this store. We check it all the time. There's never anything new. It's always been what it's always been. So I might as well work through some of it now. I've had a lot of Nook Miles for a while. I don't think we need more than 60,000, you know? So if we could get like the destination signpost. That'd be cool. And it might end up being that I have some of these, and once again, apparently there's not too much way of telling besides going over to a DIY table and double checking and all that kind of stuff. And I don't really wanna do that right now. Uh, so I guess we'll just go and get this stuff. Maybe we'll buy more of it you know, as time goes on. There's not too many things here though, so I'm just gonna go ahead and buy them all, and then we'll be right back. Okay, so I purchased all those DIY recipes. We'll work on getting more of this other stuff in the future. Like, I'm not really too worried about getting these because I can buy them at any time. Um, and more with these, I think that we'll just save some of it for later because I don't, don't want to be doing that over and over again throughout the entirety of today's episode. So also check out the normal Nook shopping stuff. Um, I don't think there'll be too much besides, oh, plastic pull, that's cute, but I don't think we need it. And a world map, that's cool though. Maybe I'll go ahead and buy that. Um, and we got some typical clothing. Um, KK Technopop. Now, I'm almost positive we don't have this one, so I'm just gonna go ahead and get it. I don't wanna pull up the list right now, because um, I do not remember anything about that, um, and nothing new here. So yeah, there we go. With that out of the way, I think that, really at this point, all we can do is skin in our uh, camper, and let's see how this goes. Yes, I do. 
So we're going to scan in this amiibo just like this. Did it work? That's Gaston's amiibo. Would you like to invite him to the campsite? Yes. Here he is. Hey, it's Gaston. Nice to get a call, any call. Uh, out of the blue like this, what do you need? Campsite, huh? It's so sudden, but why not? I got no other plans, Montrao. All right, cool. So he is a bunny with a big mustache. I think he looked very cool, so I'm happy to invite him to our town. See, so yeah, with that being said, we'll head out of here for now. We'll go talk to Gaston. We'll probably also swing by the, uh, the clothes shop, see if there's anything new there. Um, and yeah, we'll just be able to talk to Gaston, figure some stuff out there. I want to at the least go to one island today and hopefully work on the town's pathways, like I said before. I think that would be nice. We still have like things to work out with all that, but we'll get there. Hey there, welcome to Able Sisters. I know, <laughs> we come here every day. Uh, let's go ahead and see what they have. So they have a dolly shirt, um, dress shirt, Guayabara Gu shirt, never heard of that. Hip wrap shirt, oh that's fancy. <laughs> um, soccer uniform top. Uh, we also have some casual pants. Pleather flare, pleather flare skirt, surfing shorts. Oh those look cool. Hmm, maybe we'll get one of these. Just for like swimming shorts. Uh, there's a clover dress, fairy tale dress. Some of these we've seen, stylist jumpsuit. Uh, Glen Gary. Interesting. A ribbon. Um, fairy tale hood. At all sorts of different colors for that one. Brow line glasses. Round tinted shades. Uh, some socks as per usual. Mary Janes. Uh, outdoor sandals. Water shoes. More water shoes. Zori. Okay, so not like too much today that I see that I'm super interested in. I think we'll just go ahead and get like a pair of swim surfing shorts. Uh, so I'll purchase those. Um, but we'll wear it later. I think our outfit's fine for now. <laughs> so not too much in terms of clothing today, but it's always good to check and just sort of see what we can do. And let's get going. So yeah, I think at this point I'll, I'll probably head home so we can organize our inventory a bit, but then we'll go and talk to Gaston. So I just changed my clothes real quick so that we could get that one extra Nook Miles done um, and see what else is going on. So, yep, got that right there, awesome. Now for this other stuff. I'm not too worried about getting that done. We can get some more fish later, for sure. But uh, we'll go and talk to Gaston. I cleared out my inventory. I learned all those DIY recipes because I purchased them, but I didn't learn them. So it didn't give me any issues. It didn't say, hey, you already know this one. So maybe once we learn one, it goes away. Maybe that's it. Maybe, maybe it'll give me more than once I get the ones that are there. Who knows? I guess we'll find out. For right now, though, Gaston is at the tent. So we'll just say hello. He's probably gonna ask us for a DIY recipe. Um, so, so we'll work on that a little bit. Oh, hey, he's got a little piece of candy. Hello. Why why, why is talking to you not working? There we go. Came out to see me, did you? After you invited me, I got here as soon as I could, Mon Zhao. Well, I hope you enjoy it. You know what would make me happy? Bonfire made right here. Want me to do that? Whoa, you do that for me? It's turning out to be one amazing day, kiddo. Only, uh, I'm leaving here tomorrow. Think you could do do could could you find time to do that for me today, Bon Chow? A bonfire. So that's a, two visitors in a row that want me to make something that I already have a recipe for, which is sort of a shame. It's always nice when they can give me a new DIY recipe. Um, but definitely we can help them out with that. I feel like if there's one complaint I can give to the you know villagers visiting, I really wish they would actually walk around and truly visit your town. You know, I feel like that's like a big missed opportunity that they just don't do that. Because I feel like that's sort of the coolest part of visiting, is enjoying it, not just standing in the camp the, the whole time. You know, they're just hiding in the tent. <laughs> Anyways, let's craft. We want to make a bonfire, right? So, might have to make this alphabetical, then go all the way to the top. So, where would that be? Bonfire. Gonna need wood and a campfire. For a campfire, what do we need? Campfire, we just need tree branches. So, tree branches and wood is all we need. Not too bad, actually. So... Let me try to find all that. All right, so I got what I need. All I gotta do then is craft. And first make the campfire. Excellent. Ta-da! Keep crafting. And then also make the bonfire, which is right here. Okay, 
Pretty easy, not too difficult to do, so hopefully he's happy with that. We'll just hand him over a bonfire and hope he's okay. <laughs> okay, then we'll learn a little bit more about him. He'll probably give us something in return as well, because that's what they usually do. Usually a piece of clothing or something, but you never know. There we go. So, yep, no wait, I actually, I was trying to pull that out <laughs> and then putting it away. Okay, so let's get back over to Gaston. We'll give him that. We'll try to learn a little bit more about him just by talking to him too. So hopefully there's you know stuff to get done. But so far this is going by uh, pretty quickly. Mm -hmm. What's that glint in your eye? Did you finish that DIY project for me, Monchal? Thanks for waiting. All right, so here we go, bonfire. I like how I can hear the pitter patter of the rain in the tent outside. A bonfire handmade here. Can't get much better, Mon Chow. I knew it, you're so quick. As a thank you, I want you to have my baby bear, Mon Chow. Baby bear? You being this nice to a crank like me from off island kinda makes me hate to leave. Did I surprise you by revealing my sentimental side, Mon Chow? What I'm trying to say is I really, I'm really getting to like this place. Feel free to invite me back here anytime. I would love to. When I first got here, I felt like a tourist, but folks here are so generous and giving. I wish I could return every favor. They've really made me feel like feel at home. That uh, so much that I think I'd like to like live in here, Mon Chow. Then live here. Huh? Interesting. That idea ain't half bad, but I don't know if I can make up my mind just yet. I got it. Invite me up to your camp again. I could use a little more time feeling out the island, Mon Chow. All right. Well, we can't do that because you know. We already have Max Villagers. My new bonfire, crafted with a skill by you, my pal. The best, it's the best of the best, Mon Chow. Campfires are a big part of camping. You can roast all kinds of yummy treats over a campfire. It's all part of the experience, Mon Chow. Camp with a whole mess of folks is okay. You can make it a social event if you wanna. Me, I kinda like the solitary camping experience. It's more my style, Mon Chow. I used to camp a lot when I was just a kiddo. I remember singing songs around the campfire at night and staring at the flames until I got drowsy. It's rough in it compared to home, but that's part of the charm of camp and Mon Chow. I agree. My new bonfire. Okay, so yeah. I don't know if he's gonna tell us too much more. Looks like he's just repeating himself. All right, well, it was very nice meeting you. Very cool little bunny. Haven't met too many bunny animals, so that's always cool to see. All right, so with that being said, like I said, the one main thing I do wanna focus on for at least a little bit is going to be uh, making some pathways. And to do that, I do think it would be worth my while to clear out some trees. I know that some of these are probably uh, fruit trees or something, but we'll be able to replant them. There's nothing here that's planted that like needs to be where it is. So we'll work on this for right now. Um, and same thing here. That's where it gets a little bit weird, um, but I think it's gonna be worth a while just to uh, clear it out for now so I can get a better look. Uh, Gigi's house is sort of kind of in the way of the pathway I was thinking of setting up. But I'm sure we can get something made. Uh, but for right now, it's most important that I clear out the trees and everything so that we can get to it. Yeah, these trees, while they're here, you know, it's important to you know, pay attention to everything, but I, I don't think it's gonna be too big of a deal to get rid of them. Hi, hi there, Celia. She's just walking around. But beyond that, we'll probably get some extra Nook Miles done. Like I said, I would like to go to at least one island today, so there's still lots we can do. And this one's definitely gonna be in the way as well. But after that, I think we should be pretty clear. Okay, down it goes. And it's sort of an awkward angle. I really wish I could move, I mean, I can move Gigi's house. Hmm, how much would that be though? That'd probably be pretty pricey. And we're trying to save up as much money as we can. So we're probably just gonna leave it be for now, even if it is a little bit inconvenient. But I wouldn't mind moving it to the left. So yeah, let's go ahead and figure out this money tree, even though this is definitely a spot I'll be uh, moving at some point in the future. Right now, I can bury this in the hole. Can move that one. And I guess we're sort of just going to continue this pathway around this corner. We'll probably change the pathway type once we hit the bridge. But for right now, we can go to Island Designer. Yep, let's do some construction work. Yep, yep, yep. Ta-da! So, what do we need? We need this kind. Looking good. So we have it like three wide at the moment. 
I don't know if that's gonna be necessary for over here, but we'll find out. I don't know. Okay, that's not what I, okay. I'm, I'm, I'm definitely going to be rusty at this, aren't I? But yeah, we're just gonna be filling all this out and you know, I'm happy to be getting back to work with our town. I feel like I haven't been, you know, super crazy on top of it lately. Mostly I've been focusing on events going on. Um, so if we can just sort of get back into this, I think it would be great. That's not what I wanted. There we go. And it looks like we're doing fairly well. Awesome. So like, yeah, I wouldn't really want to make it any wider because it would look a little weird, but we can at the least do that. Yeah, I wish you could make the corners also have like an inverted rounding to them because if you can't really do that, as you can see. It'll, it'll just do that, which is not all we want, unfortunately. But this looks not too bad, you know? And then from here, where do we want to make it maybe a little bit different? Because it will be like a residential area. Um, I suppose what we could do is we could keep with the arch tile path because we did have that for the one park area. And I think that was pretty cool. So maybe we could keep with that. Okay, I can make it up to here, but I don't think I can make it any closer. Uh, so same deal. We'll just make it too wide for now because um, it just fits well with the bridge and I think it's pretty simple. But we need to make this go all the way out. So yeah. And once again, we'll eventually synchronize this with the houses and stuff, but I think it's more important to sort of line up with more of the important landmarks. Uh, so the campsite, any kind of like structure that people will be regularly going to that isn't a house really, is what I'm mostly focused on. So like we'll, we'll still build it out to Gigi's house here, but I'm guessing we would sort of change this around a little bit in due time. That's not what I wanted. There we go. Build that there. But I guess we would sort of give her like a sort of a front porch kind of area here like this. And I think I might hear a balloon. It sort of sounds like it, but from where? Down here maybe? Oh, I see it. Is it above the water? It might be. Oh no, we'll be careful. <laughs> I'm gonna let that pass by for a little bit then because I think that uh, I don't wanna risk it too much. So I'll like curve this like that and like this. And then I guess just continue this way. Once again, this is where it gets a little bit weird and where we'll definitely reconfigure it in the future. Oh no, not what I wanted. There we go. Much better. And I guess, yeah, we would sort of just build this out. Maybe what I'll probably end up doing is making a dirt path over to the campsite, because I, I just feel like that's nicer, or at least it like makes a bit more sense, because we'll probably want to, yeah, just sort of match those up. Anyways, where's the balloon at now, now that we've sort of waited a bit? Oh, it's over here. Wait, did the wind push it like downward? Weird. Um, I didn't know it could do that. Oh no, hold on. Got it. And what do we get inside of this? It is wingtip shoes. Oh, fancy, yeah, we've seen those in the shop before. Well, now we have a pair. Very cool, cool. So, uh, let's get back to it. I need to switch back over to this. And of course, we can make our own custom pathways. I don't think I'm nearly artistically talented enough to make that really work, but it is cool to know that that's my option. Uh, but I think we'll, oh no. Try to bring everything out from here. It might be a smarter idea. Uh, that's not what I needed. Ax, here we go. So knocking this one down shouldn't be too much of an issue. I might just wanna knock this one down just for the sake of it. It seems like it might be also in the way. See, I cleared out a lot of trees today. I don't know if that's probably a long time, long term nook miles or not, is just to clear out <laughs> certain um, trees, certain amount of trees or something. But I think it may, being too wide for now is fine. We'll also have to clear this one out. So let's get started with that. Boop, boop. Boop, got it. Um, and the shovel. Cool. So with all of that done, I think we're good to get back to making the pathway. So arched tile path, and build it out from here so we know where it's supposed to match up. Got it. 
And of course, I'm no expert designer. If you guys have tips for designing an island, I would love to hear all about it. But, you know, I think this is one of those things that you just sort of learn by doing. You're gonna set up a town, realize, you know what, I don't like this so much, and try again. Rinse and repeat, do that a couple of times, and before you know it, you've built up some designing skills. So, I think that's really the most we can focus on. But you know what, I'll try my best. That's not what I wanted. Uh, we'll just try to make the best looking island I can possibly muster. And you know, if we don't do the best of job, at least we learned some stuff along the way. So if we ever wanted to give it another try, we could. For the next Animal Crossing game, right? <laughs> In another six years. I don't know if the series will take that long, but you never know. Depends on, you know, how interested we are in the game. Okay, so. Okay, that's not what I wanted to do. I need to set something up here to make it a, uh, a curved thing. I mean, I don't know if that's, once again, even really worth it because we'll make a dirt path connecting over this way. And once again, this is all to be fixed, to be improved upon, to be worked upon because we'll, we'll have to do that. <laughs> what do you know? Um, so if we wanna make a nice little dirt path here, I don't wanna make it the same dirt path as like what's covering this up. That's not what I wanted. You know that's not what I wanted, I'll have to fix that. Uh, but I wanna make this like the, the clear walking path, but that's sort of like the nice uh, soil for camping or something, you know? Anyways, we're laying this out, and this is gonna match up with this. Obviously, once again, it's not perfect. I think that's fine though. It's not supposed to be an official path. It's like, you know, it's like a user-made path. People needed to get over here, so they walked this direction, and over time, a path was made that showed how people were walk it, walking. I think they'll do that for certain, like, you know, designs, right? Like, you know, if they're designing like a campus for a school, they won't pave anything at first, so they'll watch how the students walk around um, and then make pathways based on how the students walk. Because, you know, that means that, that must be the most convenient way to get from one point to another, you know? Um, I think that's a pretty cool way of designing things. Um, because it's about the intent and the convenience of the user. Anyways, we just sort of wanted to... Okay, I am trying so hard to make a pathway right here and no other spot. And it just would not let me. Um, but yeah, I think this is matching up, yeah. I wanted to make like a little sort of sidewalk path. It does not need this, though. And it's just gonna match up over here. Just that way, if you wanted to enter from this side of the park, you can. I think that works out quite well. There we go. And we can curve that a little bit. See, not too bad. And I guess like it would be pretty smart as well to do it on this side. And then also make it all lead over here. And this is where I feel like I should etch out more of this area because it's just like this tiny little spot you can squeeze in here. I don't know if that looks too good. So we could even um, do the cliff construction and just totally destroy these cliffs like nobody's business, you know? There we go. And it's like, it's not too much more space, but it is more space. I guess I should maybe get rid of that. There we go. Okay. That's better. That's definitely better. So let's go back to this for right now. That's not good. And once again, not gonna be perfect, but it will just sort of lead over here. And is this the best sidewalk type for this? I don't know. It's something we could work on in the future. But for me, right now, it's sort of about the infrastructure of it, and just sort of figuring that out one piece at a time. That's not what I wanted. But we're just gonna wrap this around the side, just like we did for the other part. Yeah, with the fact that we can like even move mountains and stuff, like the whole world is our oyster here, you know? And do we wanna match it up around like that? Maybe that would have been smarter than matching it up there. Looking at that now, I'm like, hmm, that might be a better look. Yeah, let's do that, because I, I just think that's gonna end up I mean, obviously, once again, that's where it's gonna be, would be, I feel like people would just cut across here, but you know what, it looks nice, we're doing it. Because I'm pretty sure the villagers don't care where the paths are either way. I'm sure if we set up fences and stuff, they'd take more care for it, but I don't know. I mean, Celia's walking down it right now. Look at her go, <laughs> cool. I mean, maybe they are supposed to walk down the pathways. Nope. <laughs> she does exactly what I thought they would do. Um, all right. Get that there. 
and we're good for now. I think that was a lot of fun just laying out those paths, and we'll start working on it some more as time goes on. But I think that's a nice little layout right there. Um, yeah, now we just sort of, it just feels slightly more official in my opinion. Uh, so a couple of things I wanted to do. Um, mostly they consist of going to, can I like turn it off? Am I done building for now? Yes. Uh, going to an island and getting some stuff done there. So I think that's what we'll work on next. All right, so here we are at an island. It's very sunny here. It was raining earlier in the episode. I don't know if it stopped, I guess it did. But we don't have any new fruit. <laughs> I gotta hope every time, right? So we'll do our normal stuff here. Of course, we're going to be running through, grabbing weeds, uh, grabbing fruit, and then doing some fishing. And probably also diving into the water, getting some stuff done there, because we just have a lot of that to start figuring out. But, you know, I'm just gonna try to work on that. We'll probably make some extra cash, because we have 41,000 bells. As long as I can make a good 14,000 here, I'll be pretty happy with that. I think the chances are good that we can do that. So we'll, we'll go and figure that out. Yeah, I'm pretty happy with the progress made today. You know, it's just we, we do what we do, and we'll eventually get there. <laughs> but I'm glad that we got to uh, chip away a little bit at the pathway of the town. Um, I definitely, you know, I'm glad that we are you know, sort of getting a better picture of what we could do with certain things, like moving Gigi's house a little bit over. And ooh, not very common, but it looks like we got a fossil spot over here. That's always nice. And probably why it's worth it to visit a island at least once a day, because we can get more fossils out of it. Seeing how we're so close to completing the museum, Definitely something worth working on. So, yeah, I'll keep that in mind for sure. Extra fruit, more fossils, everything we need to sort of keep in mind, right? So, that seems to be about it. Uh, is this one of the spiral islands? It looks like it, so we'll keep going for now. But, after that, we'll sort of go back to the beginning and uh, grab all the fruit. Maybe I'll also just hit the, the rocks, or maybe we'll do that after, because you know I have to pull up the, the shuffle every time. So I'm just trying to find the most efficient way to do it. But we'll figure it out as time goes on. For right now, if I can find a spot just to jump over, that's perfect, because there's still more weeds on this side. Yeah, I guess I should have scouted out the island on how I wanted to start grabbing them. But either way, it's done now. Once again, we haven't seen Leaf in a while, but when we see him, oh boy, we have multiple stacks of weeds at this point for Leaf, just to receive. He's gonna be thrilled. Okay. Definitely grab all this, and then over this way. It's weird that there's an occasional pine tree around here, because usually they're just, you know, on elevated areas, but not so much for this island, for whatever reason. But we got a coconut, and it looks like at least one or two shells around here. Maybe we can find another message in a bottle. Actually, we haven't found one today. I need to look for that. We have not found a message in a bottle today. If I can get more DIY recipes, the better, right? You know, so definitely wanna work on that. But, We'll see if there's any waiting for us on this island. Probably not, it's not always that you get that, especially if we got something like a fossil, maybe that that's the exchange. Don't get a DIY recipe this time. I'm fine with that. Okay, and then down this way, we got ourselves an orange, very cool. Yeah, I would love to hear, have you guys been able to complete uh, your museums? So it feels like you know it's a lot of hard work to get that done. I've been trying my best, but can't always do it. Anyways, let's get our shovel out. And we'll put that there, and here, and we're good. So I don't know if we'll get too much out of these, but it's always worth trying, especially if we can sort of just up our chances of getting golden nuggets and stuff. That's always a good one. Because I definitely want to do some crafting with that kind of stuff soon, because, because we got that King Tut mask recipe earlier, and that was pretty cool. Uh, so yeah, let's just move over this way a bit. Grab that. Boom. And let's get going. So not looking like anything out of the normal so far for this island, but we should be able to make a nice turnaround. Oh, there we go! Golden nugget. Cool. Once again, that's only a 1% chance. With each time you hit a rock, 1% chance of getting one. So always pretty lucky when we can get one per episode, uh, which we haven't been, but... I don't know, it's been a decent ratio for when we actually are visiting islands and su such. And then I think there's one more over this way. Yep, so we'll grab this. Oh, actually, maybe not the, oh, the best idea to do it the angle that I did. I thought that the tree would block me. Okay, we did all right there. Nothing but iron nuggets for that one, which means that we're done with the rocks. We can um, just focus on catching some fish, which also is one of our nook miles, correct? Yep, catch five fish. I'll catch five fish, and then we'll go uh, 
catch some creatures in the ocean with the wetsuit. So that'll be pretty cool just to get all that done. Let's first go for you. Because I know one of our goals is to get a red snapper. So maybe we should be fishing in the ocean. We got one earlier today, but then we only got the uh, the mission shortly later. So that was a little silly. So maybe this guy's not worth it. What kind of fish are in the ocean? This could be red snapper. It's about red snapper sized. Let's find out. Ooh, there it is. We get ourselves a, whoa, puffer fish again. Not too bad, we've caught one of these before, but we haven't sold one yet, so we'll see how much they sell for, I guess. Hmm. Not seeing too many fish around here, so we'll go over to the other side. This tree is just in the way. Hmm. Oh, here we go. Ready, and cast that out. That could have been better. There we go. Oh, and right away, this little guy's gonna take that down. It is a herring, or no, a horse mackerel. Never mind. Yeah, not too many ocean fish around so far on this island. Hopefully, if we keep running up and down, we'll find something at some point, but a little bit concerning. Aha, here's another one. Probably another horse mackerel. We'll find out right away again. So it's probably the same thing. Indeed it is. Hey, three fish so far, no matter what the kind of fish they are. That's sort of just good to get out of the way. So back over here. I still can't go between there. I am not seeing any more. Weird, right? Maybe we gotta go up this way. Maybe that's what we're missing. Oh, I do see a little fish. I cannot jump across from here. Gotta do it from there. All right. That's a shovel. Not gonna be catching any fish with that. This might be a little seahorse or something. We got its attention right away. Okay. Oh, it's a clownfish. Cool. So maybe we'll just go ahead and get a fish from the river then. Is this guy still over here? Oh, maybe we can go for you. There we go, right in front of you. Hard to say no to that. And I guess we never got that rock in the center. Weird, I thought I did. Well, I thought wrong. We'll get ourselves a Crucian Carp. Okay, so we'll get that Nook Miles in just a second. I just wanna jump over real quick. And let's see, 150. We definitely need to build things back up. We're down to 45,000. Talk to your neighbors. Can't do that right now. We're on an abandoned island. I guess an uncharted island is a better description. But we can just hide in this corner without even having to set up any holes. Will we get another golden nugget for our last rock of the day? Probably not. Wow, what, what? That's not what I wanted to do. Clumsy me. Nope, not happening. That's fine. Uh, so we'll go ahead and grab all this, and then we're going to be diving into the water. Hopefully that goes well. Because we need to find probably another five. Uh, so yeah, we'll figure that out for right now. Equip it, wear this, ta-da, and jump on in. If you can, if you dare. Oh, maybe I have to put this away. There we go. So I do see obviously this spot right here, so let's get to it. And we'll just dive under the water. Ooh, okay, so we got some more uh, acorn barnacles. I don't know if we'll find anything new, but I'll sure hope so, because that would be good for, once again, our museum stuff. We'll, we'll at least have to get to the museum to uh, assess the one fossil that we have. But yeah, it's always cool when you can find a fossil on an island like this. So back over this way. What do we got going on? We have, oh, got a sea urchin. Wasn't even searching for it. All right. So that's two down, three more to go. I sort of wish they weren't so spread out because it just takes a while to get from thing to thing, but that's okay. We make it work. Oh, okay, so we get ourselves a uh, sea anemone. It's nothing new so far. There definitely are less fish to get than there are bugs and fossils and, um, well, I, I say fish, but deep sea diving creatures. You know what I mean? Uh, but what do we get out of this one? Maybe something new? It's a starfish. I got a sea star. Maybe it'll give me an autograph. So I think that we've already gotten that one, but I'll definitely have to check. 
Oh, there is one. So this should be our last one of the day. So let's get over there, give it a dive, and hope it's something new. But even if it isn't, it's something we'll sell when we get home. I mean, we'll see our inventory, maybe we can just keep, seeing how we're already in the ocean. Maybe we'll just fill up the rest of our inventory, but we get ourselves a muscle. <laughs> it's been working out. Oh, we sell plenty of inventory space, so you know what? We'll just keep filling it all up um, with some deep sea stuff, and then we'll leave, uh, and then we'll sell it all. That seems pretty good to me. Yeah, this is always fun. It, it's sort of a nice way to fill up some time, you know, just going around and diving for stuff you don't have to worry about. Because unlike fishing and catching bugs, this actually doesn't require too much like reaction. With the fish, you need to react to when the, the little thing goes under the water. With the bugs, you gotta be careful with your timing and your distance so you don't scare away the bug. With this, you just dive and the character will just sort of reach out for it as soon as it reaches the hole. There's not too much forethought with it. So that's sort of great. I feel like it makes it a little bit more relaxing um, to just enjoy and just sort of mindlessly just go and catch some fish. So I really do like this and I hope that they add more ways to complete stuff soon. Um, so like, you know, you got bug catching, or yeah, bug catching, fishing, um, deep sea diving. What could be next in terms of like getting critters? I don't know if there really could be too much more, but it would be cool if there was more museum completion options. But we also have like the art from Red. I just feel like that one's a little bit more meticulous because he only shows up like once in a blue moon. But we get another one. This is another sea urchin. <laughs> Exciting. Uh, so we have four more things we can get. So let's get back down this way. But yeah, I definitely have to check out the Critterpedia for deep sea diving, maybe as soon as we get out of the water. I just wanna see, you know, what do I have? What do I need to get still? I mean, I won't be able to see what I need to get. It'll be a mystery, but how many more I could possibly get? I don't know if they're blocked by season. They probably are. But either way, after this, we'll get three more. Come on, come on. Got it. And this is another uh, sea star. Cool. And here's another one over this way. Ooh, what was that? Oh, didn't we already do this though? Die for sea creatures. I've already, maybe it was like a long-term look, Miles. No, I thought I'd already gotten it done. Weird. Um, That was really weird. Was it to catch 10 of them, not five? It must have been. Weird, okay, good to know though, good to know. And the other mission though was to uh, knock over 10 pieces of wood, I'll have to do that when I'm home because I'm, I'm going to have two full of an inventory here. But we'll get some sea grapes, that's always fun. And let's swim back down here. Aha, there we go, this will be the last one we grab. We definitely had to make 15,000 bells off of all this. Ta-da! I got to see an enemy. So, let's swim back. Sorry, little fish. Didn't mean to scare you, but I got places to be. And we'll head off of this island, and like I said, assess that one fossil. Oh, here we go. Now we got something. What is this? Deep dive. The glittering sea that surrounds our island is home to all kinds of captivating creatures, so we've caught 50 of them. Exactly. Nice. So we need to... Um, Multiply that by five, 250. Okay, so five times more, yeah. All right, there are so many creatures we have yet to discover. So yeah, there definitely is. We've only discovered 14. Our next uh, mileage is at 20. So we still have so much to do. We'll be working for it, for sure. Okay, so let's quickly assess this fossil. I don't know if there's too much with it, but we'll find out. But yeah, cool that we got five fossils instead of four today. That's pretty cool little difference. Um, whoo, of course it can be but one thing, the coprolite. Superb, indeed splendid, a rare fossil we do not have yet in our collection! Yay! This coprolite is just the kind of discovery we want to show in the museum. Uh, what say you, will you donate it? Of course I will. Hoot, how wonderful. I'll add this to our collection with the utmost haste. Coprolite, interesting. Um, please tell me more. Wonderful, it's, it's fascinating stuff. Coprolites are in fact, hmm, <clears throat> bits of fossilized, Species, Ooh, ew, it's true. It must be said that they are also astonishing treasures troves of ancient information, what? For example, the coprolite from certain plant-eating dinosaurs has been found, oh no, I didn't mean to click A so soon. Uh, this tells us that these dinosaurs, like many modern birds, ate rocks to help grind the greens in their bellies. 
Indeed, fossilized feces reveal not only what food the dinos ate, but how they digested it too. Who knew? And there you have it. So there we go, F fossilized poop. I guess it's important to know. So I don't think we have anything else. Uh, but we don't, yeah, we, we don't have anything else to donate. So we'll have to keep working on it and see what else we need to get because I didn't see a spot for copper light like in that first room, but I think there are more rooms. So we'll just sort of have to look around and see like what else I have to do. But I, I hope that he would tell me when, the, when everything is said and done. But I'm glad we finally got something new after a long while of not getting anything new for the museum. Um, at least for fossils. Uh, for fish and bugs, we occasionally get some new stuff. But for right now, let's go ahead and sell. So I am offering uh, some deep sea stuff, some fruit, fish, and shells. Some pretty cool stuff. Should be able to make us, like I said, hopefully, I mean, we only had 12 oranges, not too many. I would hope 15,000. 15,000 exactly, awesome. <laughs> That's what I was looking for. So yeah, very cool. We were able to make 50,000 bells worth of profit that we'll be putting into our ABD today. That's what I was really, really looking forward to. So I'm just, I'm happy that's out of the way. And you know, I think for one last thing, as we're making our way over, I will chop some trees a couple of times just so that, um, did I not have any? I guess not, weird. Um, just so that we can get ourselves uh, the extra Nook Miles because you know, we spent a lot of those today. Okay, so we'll grab these real quick, but that should be it done. Very nice. So we did pretty well today, all in all, if you ask me. And we'll try to continue to do well in the next episode. Uh, I could, once again, I could sit here and do extra Nook Miles for a while, but I don't wanna drag the episode on for too much. I think next episode we'll probably be doing more of the same thing, uh, depending on who's in the town. Maybe we'll spawn in somebody to say hello to, but we'll also see who's around and see what's going on. Oh, do you have a new expression for us? I think you do. Oh, I just thought of a new nickname for you, Zebra. Let's hear it. All righty, here it is. Dimples, perfect, don't you think? Oh, uh, I don't know if I like dimples too much. Oh dear, no good? This is hard. I'll have to start over from scratch. After all, you deserve a nickname that truly suits you, Ribet. Well, thank you. I don't know if I do that. I, I like Zebra. It's a pretty easy to pronounce name, right? What's up, Zebra? Uh, let's chat. <laughs> Clear sky, smooth sailing, living the dream, Zebra. Cool. So anyways, we're just gonna go put some money away in the ABD and be done with that. It's been a long episode. I've had a lot of a lot of fun. But I think we're done. So welcome to Nook Stop. We've spent a lot of time here today, but just a little bit more. Uh, so 51,550 bells. We'll have 5,000 left over. We have 591,000 in our balance. Very cool. We're more than halfway to, well actually, yeah, we're about halfway to paying off this loan, I think. So with that being said, that is gonna wrap it up for today's episode of Animal Crossing New Horizons. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.